Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name's Derek Ray and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the first leg of this UEFA Champions League round of 16 tie. It's Barcelona and they take on Arsenal. Well, this is a great tie, Derek. Two excellent teams, a great atmosphere and all to play for. I can't wait for this one. Ferran Torres, Kunde, Ronald Araujo, De Jong, Gabi. Now the defenders know they need to get tighter. And he has options available. Magnificent defending. Ferran Torres. Alexander Zinchenko. Declan Rice. Martin Odegaard. Rice with it. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Outrageously skillful. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Parte. And he was in the right place to intercept. Jesus. Saka. Gundogan. Lewandowski now. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. Can they forge ahead? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here we can see just how easily Lewandowski goes past his marker. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Gundogan, Lewandowski, Oriol Romeu, Gavi. And he did what he had to do defensively. Now well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So into the second half and Arsenal with a bit of work ahead of them. How can he take them on and beat them? This could square the game. Ferran Torres. It's with Gundogan. It's there for him. So a corner for Barca. What can they do with it? Making sure nothing came of it. Ronald Araujo, plenty of support here. Danger averted. 20 minutes remaining. Gabi. Lewandowski now. Good weight on that pass. De Jong. Fluency of movement. Well kept out. And the danger still on. Torres. In it goes to increase their advantage. 
And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Oriol Romeu. Gabi. Outdoing his opponent. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. Well, they've decided to make a change. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Ronald Araujo. Rafinha. That's all there is time for. The full-time whistle. And Barcelona with the lead going into the second leg of this tie. 